What is up guys? Just out in the garden messing with the mini. Just getting it started, charging up the battery. Kitties are playing in the garden. All great fun, all that good stuff. Gonna start taking the bumpers off the fear. I have to take the arches off and then I'm gonna take the wheels off and the bumpers off. Get the front and rear bumpers on the car and then hopefully so windy out. It's like what date are we? It is now. Wednesday the 4th of January so happy new year everyone messy head and all but yeah I'm just trying to get stuff done I cleaned up the garden put all my tools away getting everything sorted for the Fiat build so I have my bumpers here two from front bumper and back bumper obviously they're primed they're ready for paint or wrap so I don't mind having different color bumpers on the car and driving it I honestly don't give a shit they're projects if you have a project like that and you're driving it fair play has to be done so yeah guys I'm gonna start by moving this bad boy out and getting the bumpers off. So, change of plans for a few minutes, just start raining. I'm just gonna lock the cars up, leave them for a few minutes. Hopefully, this horrible dark cloud clears over and we can get the bumpers done on the Fiat. I might even get the spoiler on. Stay tuned. So yeah, hasn't stopped raining. Still raining the whole day. It's getting dark, can't do anything. So just have to wait for the lovely weather to come back so I can do the bumpers and then try and sort the spoiler and the rest of the bits and pieces and get the car painted or wrapped. It's just Irish weather, typical. But here, the Civic is looking good. Still cleanish and the Mini. So yeah. Just have to wait for the famous Irish weather to stop being so awesome. So it's bright out and it's not raining. So I'm actually going to do a little bit on the Mini. I've had this air filter for I don't know how long. So I'm just going to remove the old made up crappy one that I have in the engine bay and replace it with this. Let's do it. So this is the air filter I bought a while ago. It's a proper job. This is going to fit onto the inlet perfect. Then a good brand new k and filter with a little bracket that holds it on. So this is going to be bolted onto the body obviously, like so. And then that holds this up so it's going to be solid. And then that has no holes in it so there'll be no leaks like this one that I have in the bay. I'll show you now. Now I just made this one up because I had nothing for the car. As you can see, oop, it just came off. Bodge job, yeah I know, but do you know what? It'll do. So this is great. This thing literally fits on to my inlet as it is. <laughs> now, look at that. So much better. And then obviously, it goes down here, closer to all the air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find somewhere to bolt on this, to hold that, and then the filter sits into that. Perfect. So I'm just gonna get that on now. So luckily enough, my engine mounts have, I'll just turn on the torch so you can see, the engine mounts that I got for the car, the hard race ones, have holes in the tops of them. And this little bracket, <laughs> it's absolutely perfect, is going to hold that pipe up in place and that filter in place so it's not going to fall around anywhere. So I'm going to put it over here like this, tighten it down, and then I'll show you what the final fitment is like for the filter. And then there's obviously a cold air intake thing that I can run up to it as well. It's awesome. Now, there it is in. All nice and tight, not budging. I will be running the cold air feed from down here somewhere up to it. I also fixed the fan. It was a bit loose, a few cable toys that helped it. I'm gonna snip these all back and then start the car and see how it sounds. Now this is just an air breather off the rocker cover. I'm actually going to leave that loose for now. I don't want to tap it into this. I am going to get a filter for it. I don't want to tap into the new holes as I don't want to damage it. There's no point, but it's only blowing out a little bit of air, so it's not going to do any damage as the car is not hunting or anything. So it's all good. So just getting air from here now. No more leaks.
2. So I'm just going to leave this run for a while, charge the battery. I'm going to move the Civic back up here, move the Mini back and move the Seicento back and do this back bumper. So close inspection, we have one mountain point there, one here, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So I'm gonna get this rear bumper off real quick and this one back on. Yeah, just two more on the bottom, that's it. So this is what the fit looks like. Get that rid of anyway. <laughs> Behind the bumper. So I'm just gonna transfer these lights over onto the other bumper and stick the other bumper on. Let's go. Cut plowy. <laughs> now just throw that reg plate on and the arch is back on and I'll bring you back out when it's daylight to see it better. Good morning. Early, early, but typical Irish weather. Rain, 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 rain. Always rain. Let's have a look at the fit. Arches look so good, but the arches look much better on this bumper as it's a bit wider. As you can see, they fit right to the bottom of the bumper. Same on this side. Right to the bottom of the bumper. But yeah, how good does that look? I'm gonna get a bigger exhaust so it fills up that maybe like a cherry bomb exhaust stupid and loud I have a, another set of these lights they're gonna get tinted and then all the stickers are gonna get removed and I'm gonna get the car painted fully paint the car and then do a Ferrari livery style maybe the shell the old shell Formula One car and um, I might replace that door that has a big dent in it so I might get a new door for that fairly cheap 50 quid for a door um, Interior wise, it's going to stay standard. The seats are very hard to get. The sporting seats don't fit in it. They have a different bracket, as you've seen from a video I've done before. But in the next video, I'm going to put the front bumper on, the spoiler, and then prep it for paint and hopefully book it in somewhere to get the paint done for the car. Once that's done, then we can start looking at livery stickers, maybe a Bart stickers up the bonnet, and then get donations for the car see if we can get some performance mods from performance companies interior mods from the likes of mcg and red power so we'll see what we can get guys see what they're offering obviously for free because it's a charity car i'm not looking to spend stupid money the car is booked for the nct again as it is out it's out of tax as well because i have not been driving it but when the car is raffled or given away the car will be road legal it will be taxed and it will be nct'd so make sure you watch the videos and keep an eye on that hit the notification bell subscribe and like the videos so yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace